what's Good Luck Studio about in as short a synopsis as possible. Good Luck Studio is set in a TV studio where a children's TV show is being made. It's the last night of that show and a disgruntled actor who didn't get the leading role has turned up to try and force his way back into the show. That's as much as I can say without giving away what happens. But the show is also the show is a, a sort of time jump comedy where we see the same period of time from lots of different perspectives. So I've been the artistic director of Mischief uh, since we first formed, uh, but I've never sort of directed any of our shows. And so I, I think that, um, I think, you know, um, Henry Shield shared this really brilliant script uh, with me and the rest of the group last year. And so I sort of, we, we talked about it and it sort of made sense. And I think it's, um, it's, uh, it's been, it's been, it's been an amazing experience. And I've, I've learned a lot and um, we've obviously kind of been involved sort of in the workings of all of our stuff as we're sort of, writing and performing so we're there always during rehearsals anyway so I think there's l sort of elements of the job that I've kind of feel like I've sort of got a really good idea of what they are but there's also been new stuff that I've learned on this and so yeah it's been uh, it's been it's been I feel very fortunate to have had a lovely experience So there's no particular reason why I wrote this show on my own. Uh, me and Hen and uh, John Sayer usually write together and have written the other mischief shows together, but we also each uh, pursue our own uh, solo projects. Um, and this is just the first one that's happened to go on, I think. Uh, so it's not like I wanted to get away from the guys. We are still writing together, generally. Um, and the inspiration behind this show, uh, Good Luck Studio was inspired by uh, my experiences, our experiences, working uh, in a TV studio on uh, The Goes Wrong Show, uh, which we did with the BBC. Well, uh, the, uh, the Goes Wrong Show has, goes smoother than uh, the action that occurs in the studio in Good Luck Studio. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I know, I think um, it's so funny how uh, the world of kind of making studio, studio shows work, um, that dynamic between the gallery and between the studio floor, uh, and the dynamic between all the different people doing their different jobs in quite a large team. I think that was the thing about Goes Wrong Show uh, for me was pretty, you know, it was the most people probably we'd ever had working on anything that we'd done, uh, all in different departments. And so you've got to have kind of a structure to manage that many people. And that structure sometimes I think is, is great and is effective. And sometimes of course, then, you know, crazy things happen within it and people don't know and there's miscommunications and funny things and lots of that is explored, I think really well in this play. Where did you get a gun when you naughty dragon? <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone enjoys the show, finds it funny. I also, what I particularly like about theatre is trying to make shows that couldn't be done anywhere else. Um, I think the best kind of the best kind of theatre shows are shows that only work in theatre. I hope that people come see this and uh, experience a show that tells a story in a in a way they haven't seen before. Um, moving through time back and forth and seeing things from different perspectives in a way that you couldn't really do in film, you couldn't do on TV. Uh, so it's something very different, I hope, quite clever, we'll see. Uh, but at the very least, it'll be funny. But also I think, um, I, I really hope that um they see it as something a little bit different for Mischief. I think it's a really exciting uh, departure. I think it is a little bit darker, a little bit more grown up. Uh, even though it's about a kid's show, it's definitely a show for grown ups. And I think that um, it, it's got that kind of, that, that sort of nice twisted edge that I think we haven't quite done before. I would say that if your child is 14 or older, absolutely bring them. I'd say if they're younger than that, it's a personal choice. If I had a younger child, I would bring them. Uh, but then again, I don't have a younger child, so maybe I would be a terrible father if I had one. <laughs> That's why you're not allowed. That's why I'm not allowed a child. <laughs>